Augusta commissioners are cutting down or they're cutting down a massive sales tax wish list. But as News Channel 6's George Escala shows us, one particular city rec center may be getting a healthy piece of the pie. Recreation centers are a common target for SPLOS funding, and that will be the case in SPLOS 8 as well. And commissioners indicating that one rec center needs to be at the top of that list. In such bad shape, the Dias Park Community Center has been closed for more than a year and a half, but neighbors here expect that will change with the new SPLOST. A full functioning multi purpose center so that it can address a lot of the needs in the community and hopefully that we'll be successful in getting that done. Serve the ball now for sport. Last fall, commissioners approved $6 million to overhaul the Brigham Center over request to replace Dias Park. But commissioners said in the next phase of the SPLOS, Dias Park would be funded. City administrators now recommending $6 million for Dias Park in the next phase of the tax. But some commissioners say that is not all what residents want. I think they want to see something more than that. Uh, with all the work that's gone on James Brown Boulevard, um, they'd like to see a, a, a conference center. The city has gotten a request from an outside group seeking $50 million in sales tax money for a James Brown Museum and Conference Center to go at Dias Park. I'm, I'm very much supportive of it. I don't know where you use 50 million, but I think you know we, we need to we need to put it on the table. Not at 50 million. I think uh, we may be able to talk around the issue and see what we can come up with. We may be able to. We may not be able to. Now the James Brown Conference Center and Museum, not the only outside organization looking for SPLOS funding. The Mini Theater looking for five million dollars. The Augusta Jewish History Museum looking for three and a half million dollars. All these outside agencies will get the chance to make a presentation to the commission March 24th. In Augusta, George Escala, WJBF, News Channel 6.